Okay, this video is going to show the application of square off towels and also the application of an IOVAN steri drape and the laparotomy sheet for laparotomy draping. So when we place the square off towels, remember you open a blue towel all the way, you make about a two inch fold away from you, and then on the first one you need to make sure that you cuff your hands so that they're protected from any unsterile areas on the outside. We always place the towel that's in front of us first because remember we're sterile and we want to establish a sterile area for which to approach and place the rest of the towels. So you're going to open up that towel, make the two inch fold away from you, and then cuff your hands, and then we approach the field. Now, remember the area that we're squaring off is about the size of the fenestration on the drape that we're going to be placing, but remember that if you place your towel too close, you can't always back it up, but you cannot bring it closer to the incision site. And also remember that we want to resist the urge to open these towels up because then you're going to be getting too close to the unsterile areas. So just place the towel and back your hands up without coming too close. Remember we also want to watch the front of our gown by any of these unsterile areas down here so that you're not going to get too close to the bed or the linen that's still exposed. Then we place either the top or the bottom towel. So again you're going to open the towel make the fold away from you and you're going to swing out, making sure that you occlude off any of the unsterile things that might be showing up near the incision. So I need to make sure that I'm covering the linen, the patient's gown, or any of those kinds of things because they cannot be showing on this side where we are making the incision. We want to make sure that they're isolated off from the area where the incision is going to be made. So if you accidentally did place your towel too far out, like this one where the patient's linen was actually showing, you're just going to grab another towel. <coughs> Open it up, make that fold away from you, and then swing out and place that towel so that we isolate that off and it's not showing on the incisional area. We then, on the last towel, make the fold so it goes towards us. And on this one, you want to make sure that you don't drag it on all these unsterile areas. You're just going to take, reach across, and make sure that you watch how close the front of your gown is so that you don't come too close. And then just place that last towel. Now, if you wanted to move your towels back, make sure that you touch immediately surrounding the incision site. You're not going to touch out here on the edge because just like with everything else, we consider the edge of everything to be contaminated. And you want to make sure that you don't stick your fingers underneath the towels as well because you cannot see to that area and we don't know what's what has been pressed and what hasn't. Now, some surgeons will place perforating towel clips at the corner of their linen towels. Not very common, but there are a few surgeons that do that. So if you're gonna do that, you wanna make sure that you catch the edges of the towel and lift it up so that you're not gonna get the patient's skin and then clip the towel. Now, make sure also that you don't have the clip up here in the incisional area. You wanna make sure that it's pointed outward and it's not gonna impede where the incision is going to be made. Remember, at the end, when you take the drapes off, you don't want to throw these away in the trash as well. So you're just going to lift up and then clip that area. And again, on the last one, make sure that you lift those two up and then secure those. And that'll kind of help to prevent the towels from sliding down the sides of the patient. Now, if your surgeon was going to be placing an IOBAN over the top of the towels instead of the perforating towel clips, then it would be placed in this type of a fashion. So remember the IOVAN is a steri drape that is impregnated with an iodophore that will be slowly released throughout the case and helps to prevent the regrowth of microorganisms. We like the IOVANs because they lock the microbes on the skin and prevent the bacterial migration into the wound. So when you're draping with your surgeon, you're going to hand them the writing, you're going to grab the paper, and then the person with the writing, they're going to be the one that's in charge of sticking it down to the patient and then preventing any wrinkles or bubbles. Now this person just continues to pull and you want to make sure that you don't pull down, that you pull straight out so you're not going to go below table level. And then continue to pull that off and then as it starts to hang down you're not going to grab it and then put it back on your back table. You just hold this and then hand it off to an unsterile person who is then going to take and place it into the trash. Okay. If we do get any bubbles in our IOVAN as it's been applied, a lot of times the surgeon will nick it with a scalpel and then stick it down. And then we will remove this piece of paper by simply pulling like this and then handing it off to the circulating nurse as well. Now, remember that the IOVAN will stay on throughout the case until we start to close the skin and then we'll peel back the edges. Remember, if you have an elderly patient, you don't want to just rip it off because you might take their skin with it too. So be very careful about when you take it off the patient's skin. We're just going to take it off for right now so that we can show you the application of paper square off towels. So remember, it's surgeon's preference as to whether they want to use the linen or the paper. So on these paper utility drapes, we either want to keep them folded in half and then pull the paper to expose the, the adhesive like this 
rather than opening it up all the way like this and then pulling it off where you're going to be reaching down below what's considered a sterile level or you want to lay it on the back table and then peel the piece of paper off. Okay. But again on these, they're applied in the exact same order, so you want to make sure that you open it up. You want to keep your gloves off of that adhesive area because it's going to it's very very sticky and you will stick to that. So try to grab either above it or below it, but we do want to have the fold away from you and then you're going to cuff your hands again. We always place the towel that's in front of us first. On these, you do want to make sure that you move it to where you want to position it because you're not, once you stick it down, you're not going to be able to slide it back like you can with the, t the towels that we just put on. Okay, either we do the top or the bottom on the next one. Okay. So again, open it up and then swing out and place either the top or the bottom, sticking it down just immediately surrounding the incisional area. Place the top towel this way, sticking that down. And then the last one, of course, the fold will go towards you just like it did when we were utilizing the regular linen towels. Reach across, making sure that you stay high enough that it's not going to drag on anything, and then stick that down. So, four scrap towels is the first part of the laparotomy draping sequence. Now, there are some surgeons who may use a medium sheet over the legs as well, just to give an extra layer of protection. So, if they use that medium sheet, you're just going to hand that to the surgeon or whoever you're draping with, and you just grab the edges and open that up. And that just kind of gives you an extra layer because a lot of times the instruments will be laid on the drapes right here as your Mayo stand will be in here and as the surgeon and the PA utilize them, they might lay them on the drapes here. And then we would place that laparotomy sheet. So remember, the laparotomy sheet has a rectangular shaped fenestration. You're going to look for the picture of the person. We want the head towards the head, the foot towards the foot. You're going to ask your surgeon if they want stickies on or stickies off. Stickies on or stickies off. You can leave them on. Okay or you can find that information on your preference card as well. We position the fenestration over the area we've just squared off. Had we exposed the adhesive, this is when we stick it down. You're going to open up the drape. We always go to the foot first. So you're going to grab the top layer, cuff your hand to the inside so it doesn't get contaminated, and extend out over the foot. And then on the head, if it has armboard covers, make sure that you open those up. You're going to cuff your hand to the inside Anesthesia. And, and then bring the other hand in to hold on to the fenestration which is going to help to prevent the shifting of the drapes. Now we do need to wait for anesthesia to attach it to the IV poles because we don't want it to fall and then be brought back up to a sterile level during the case as it's attached to the IV poles. Now if your fenestration is off, we cannot shift the drape, so you would need to cut your fenestration in order to expose the area where the incision site is going to be made. Okay, that's good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right.